Hello friends, today our project is LCD based voting machine or generally this project is called EVM, electronic voting machine. The microcontroller we are using in this project is 80 fine microcontroller. Now we are going to study the working of the project. So this is our 230 volt AC. This 230 volt AC is converted into uh, 12 volt AC using step down transformer. This is 1212 step down transformer. 1212 means you can take 24 volt as well as 12 volt from the from this transformer, right? The output of this transformer is then applied to the rectifier. This is bridge rectifier. Then this rectifier will convert uh, 12 volt AC into 12 volt DC. But the output of bridge rectifier is not pure DC. It have ripples as well as fluctuations. So these ripples and fluctuations will be bypassed by the filter circuit. These two capacitor acting as a filter circuit. Okay, they will filter the AC component. So you can see fluctuations or ripples from the output of the rectifier. Then that 12 volt DC is then applied to the voltage regulator. This voltage regulator will convert 12 volt DC into 5 volt DC. This 5 volt DC then will reach to the LCD as well as to the microcontroller. And this is the indicator. This indicator actually shows uh, 230 volt is converted into 5 volt DC, right? In microcontroller section, this is our reset circuit and this is the reset button. Whenever you press this button, the microcontroller will get reset. And this is the oscillator section. Oscillator section, uh, section have 11.0592 MHz crystal oscillator and 33 picofarad capacitor, right? And these are the buttons through which you can uh, operate your electronic coating machine. And this is the LCD. This LCD uh, show the status of the project, like what's going in the project, okay? And uh, this is the uh, potentiometer. This potentiometer will uh, set the contrast of the LCD. These are the buttons. These six buttons will allow you to assess the project. So the first button is start button or you can say initialize button, right? And the candidate we are using in this project is four candidate. So you can vote for four candidate. Okay, you have to choose out of these four candidate. You have to choose one when you will go for the vote. And this is the result button. Whenever you will press this button, the result will be displayed on the LCD. So now we are going to see the live working of our project. And this is the start button. Now on the LCD, the message is press initialize to begin. So you have to press the first button. This is the start button. Whenever you will press this button, there will be a message on the LCD welcome. And then the press button to vote. So uh, there are four candidates, the, the list of the candidates, P1, P2, P3. Then you have to choose one. For example, for the first time, I'll choose the P4. Thank you message on the LCD. Now uh, next, uh, we, uh, voter will come and again press the start button. This is the start button. Now on the LCD, to the voter, there will be list of the candidate to whom you want to vote, okay? You have to choose one. So there are four candidates, so the next voter can choose any candidate. For example, again, I'll choose the P4, right? This is the fourth candidate. So now, thank you message on the LCD. Now next voter will come and press the start or initialize button, right? 
again it will show the list of the candidate and now the voter will vote for the next candidate for example this time i'll press the p1 okay right you can vote any candidate thank you message now again next voter will come and press the start button now it will show the list of the candidate so there are four candidate p1 p2 p3 p4 so you have to vote anyone okay so this time i'll vote for p3 to get the result you have to press this button this is the button you have to press to get the result for example now i want result so i'll press this button now it will show the number of vote each candidate get now it will show the number of vote each candidate got so p1 got 1 and and p3 1 and p4 so it's it is showing the result p4 win right now it show the number of vote each candidate got p1 1 1 and p4 2 now hurray p4 wins it means p4 candidate have clear majority and for example if you will uh, again for the reset if you wanna again uh, vote if you again want voting system to work from the starting then you have to press the reset button this is the reset button right now again you can uh, vote for example i need a draw so i'll give p2 one vote so initialize first initialize okay now p1 one vote now again p4 one vote so if i'll declare the result then results are out p1 p2 p3 p4 1 0 0 okay right so class between result are out class of class between p1 and uh, p4 right so this is all about your electronic voting machine thank you very much yeah.